we going? We are recording. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. We're still thinking about what we want to talk about. <laughs> we're figuring it out. No surprise. <laughs> Honestly, uh, here's here's what happened. I'm leaving town, and so we've just you know we had we were like getting a bunch of podcasts done because I'm gonna be out of town, and we've learned the last time I we call I called Gina in. You guys remember? Oh yeah. Remember because I was out of town. Yep. We did the they podcast, and you it. hated it because well, you couldn't hear. It. You couldn't hear. I it. did listen to part of it just because people were saying that, and it was it's it's hard to hear. And you know, sometimes when you're in a hotel room, yeah, you don't realize that air conditioning makes a lot of noise. Oh, that too. <laughs> um. So, hey guys, welcome to Between the Reps with Brooke and Gina. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. I got cramps. <laughs> <laughs> They're multiplying, <laughs> and I'm loose. In control, cause the my doll, it's not working. You're supplying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta stop. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Um, Let's make a record. <laughs> so, yeah, we were trying to think about what we wanted to talk about today. So we kind of were, were going through a bunch of emails that you guys have sent in. Went and yet, emails. Yeah, and again, more emails that were awesome. Like such good feedback. Yeah. Love you guys so much. We are actually reading all of them. Yes. Uh, we still haven't gotten around to answering all of them, but we will, right? Eventually. Everyone out there's like, you haven't answered one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we will. We will. Yeah. Um, I wish I could answer them with just sending them a voice note. I know. That would be, be so awesome. much better. I wonder yeah. if we can. Nah, probably not. People just like get voice notes from us. Hey. Uh, I know. It'd be so much easier. Or a video. Well, plus I, yeah. I can't even see my a video half the time. Um, actually, I'm going to let you read this because I don't want to put my glasses on because apparently it gives a glare. Yeah. And you look like a nerd. <laughs> nerd alert. <laughs> Fucking nerd. Just kidding. My glasses are just on the counter right there. <laughs> um, yeah. So what we're going to do is we've got an email, a question that we had a while back. Yeah. That we had sort of bookmarked mm -hmm. knowing that we wanted to talk about it. Um, we haven't even really prepared to talk about it today, but we're just, nope. we're going to read it. This Just, is what it's like. It's going to come right off the top of our heads, guys. Yeah. <laughs> right off the top. <laughs> right off the top of our heads. Um, all right. Here we go. From, I might ruin this name. We always do. I think it's Phelan. Phelan? I think so. Phelan Savage. And if, that's a cool name, Phelan actually. Phelan Savage. That is a cool name. That is a cool name. Hey, Brooke and Gina. Longtime fan of your videos and the podcast. I started tuning in last year and I love how much you both make me laugh. My question is this. What do you look for in a good friend? How can you tell if someone is the real deal or just there to take advantage? I have a hard time reading people and determining this and your friendship is inspiring. P.S. You have the best music in the videos. I shazammed myself a whole workout playlist. <laughs> Thank you and have a good week. Well, I, I guess since you are saying that, I have to be pretty honest. Um, I pay Gina to be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and she's expensive. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I really am. I pay her in champagne. <laughs> You're so you want to come over? Uh, sorry, I can't. I have champagne. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah. You want to go travel? Hey, do you want to go with me here? <laughs> yeah. Gina. Of course not. Take it, dude. Oh, okay. I'm starting. Yeah. Well, so I, I was thinking about this a little bit the other day when I, I had read it. And I think, I think when I, when I was younger, I would tend to, and I don't think it's just a young thing. I think there's just, you know, different personalities, but what I've had to learn about myself as I've gotten older is that I'm the kind of person that, you know, you, you go and you meet somebody and it's like, uh, Oh, you like this? Oh yeah, I like that too. And it's like, okay, we're, you know, going to be like the best of friends, yeah. you know, and you kind of like jump into, uh, being in a relationship too quickly with somebody not knowing really anything about them. Like they seem funny, they seem nice and all this stuff. And then it's happened to me over the years, not, not with like all my friends, but like with, I can think of probably on, you know, one hand where I end up in a relationship with somebody that has, you know, either you're bonding over with, with kids, you know, when, when they're younger or whatever. And then all of a sudden you realize they're fucking nuts. You know yeah. what I mean? Or maybe they're not nuts, but they're just like, maybe not, uh, because somebody doesn't have to be exactly like you. Mm -hmm. Right. But they, they have traits that, that, um, 
Like your that, friendship comes at a cost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's that, you know, you, you find people that, that, that are kind of users or you feel like things are super one-sided or people who are hypocritical in the way that they can treat you the way that any way that they want to, or they have like, they expect you to hold, you know, uh, um, like they hold themselves at, like more important in a relationship. Sorry. Mm. I'm like, um, <laughs> um, so oops, sorry. Yeah. I, I saw that I do it every time. Um, so I think what I've found is that, and I kind of, I kind of learned this from you cause, uh, and I'll let you talk about yourself, but I think that you are more, and I would say guarded, but not really guarded. Cause like when you're friends with somebody, you're, you're all in and you're, you know, loving and you're all this stuff. It's not like you kind of like, you know, hold everybody at bay, but you're just, I think better at really getting to know somebody before you really want to go all in. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? And I have unfortunately gone all in for years. And then I end up in these situations where I'm like, wow, I, I really, I really don't, this is so much work and I don't really even know if I <laughs> really like you. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now I, I, you know, none of those people would listen to this because they're not supportive. So they're not. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about anyone going. Is she talking about me? Uh, you yeah, know, they're definitely not listening. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Well, I think there's that, and then I, I think, what you are looking for in a friend, like what you value, mm -hmm. becomes way more apparent, or it changes as you get older. Yeah. You know, and as you like go down different paths or whatever, and relationships can be more superficial when you're young. For sure. You're like going Pure, out and partying. Yeah, and like, and like purely because yeah. maybe even just like scheduling difference. Like, you know, when you're really young, right, you spend way more time with your family right. than with your friends. And your and friends are kind of picked for you like, oh, we we're all in dance together yeah, and or you, we're you know, your yeah. neighbors Sports or, or families. Or, right. Um, and then as you get older you get to where you rely more, you have to rely more on like yourself mm -hmm. for like taking care of yourself. And then you start to rely on friends because the friends also rely on you. Right. And so you start to need a little bit more and you have to like trust more. And um, and it's it's true. And even, even at that point, you may have already, you, I guarantee you have, because I've it happened to me, you grew up with people that kind of, you didn't know them as much as you're going to need to know them. Right the more you need them. And as you get older, going into college and things like that, some of those friends might be people, like you said, like, I don't even really like you. Like, this <laughs> right. isn't a good, this isn't a good relationship. Right. But now I'm, I'm like in it deep. So like, right. I guess I'll just like deal with it. I guess it. I'm just going to be, yeah. You yeah. Know? And then they kind of, then they kind of, you know, I think it's kind of like fizzles out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, which is uh, probably a good thing. Yeah. But I do sometimes feel bad about it. It's weird. Like oh, you, know, I you have do. like certain friends that you're like, oh, but we had so much fun. We did this and we did that. And like you have like, especially when you have so much history with somebody. When you think about all those memories of like the fun that you have. Right. And there are some people that are really lucky. Like, you know, my friend Sarah, she's like best friends with all of her friends from high school. And I think that's so cool. I have one. Yeah. I, I'm not. No, me neither. No, I don't. I, I don't. And, um, and, and some of that is because I had a kid so young, you know, everyone else was going off and doing stuff and I was at home you know, with a, with a kid. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't have any of those friendships. I mean, I have friendships that I made from like, you know, when my kids were little, I still have those friends. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that you, there's so much growing that you do. I mean, it's, I guess it's like any relationship, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you get married too young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know about that? <laughs> you too? <laughs> yeah. <Yep>. Same. <laughs> Same. High five. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, I don't know where I can't remember where I was going with that. Just, you know, you know, she's asking about what you look for in a good friend. Um, no, I know, but I definitely had like some kind of you were, way I was going, going with that. But now, yeah, now I don't remember. It'll probably come back to you. I know. It'll come back to you. I know. It's at the back of your head. We're going to get to the top <laughs> of your brain. Um, I would say like, what do you, um, like now, like what would you look for in a friend? Like what traits? Well, uh, okay. I am going to say this. This isn't answering your question, but I will get to it eventually. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm at a point where, and I've been at this point for a while, and I think that anyone who, 
I think a lot of you can relate to this. Like there is such thing as having too many friends. Mm -hmm. Like for sure. Um, too many good friends. And when I say good yeah. friends, I mean the people that you can rely on. Right. And that you would drop anything to help and they would drop anything to help you. You know, it's, it's a much more um, like almost like partnership. Right. You know, and you can be friendly and social with lots of people. Sure. I mean, that's like, that's a relationship I have with a lot of people. Right. But a lot of people that I'm like friends with, I would never want to like sit on my couch in my pajamas for like a whole day right. and like or tra confide, travel with or, in or, or, or like want to cry to if I was right. like really having a hard time or like open up to, cause I already mm. have a hard time, uh, showing emotion, but like really like talking about it. Right. And there are certain people that I can do that with. And mm -hmm. that's a very s short list. Right. And I've noticed that, um, the people that I find to be someone who I want to call a really good friend, they're people that like know all parts of me, mm -hmm. not physically, <laughs> <laughs> mentally, but they know all the parts. They, they are my friend, not because they need to get something out of every interaction or they're not looking for something in return. Always. It's never about measuring things. They don't do things for me because they need me to, they want like recognition. Right. They want a piece. They do it because we just, they just, they care about me as a person and not about, it's not a physical thing. It's not about an ob, like it's not about what can I get from you or um, like measuring success or she's going here and we are friends, but like, I really want that. And I really want that. It's not like right. I'm not a means to an end. Right. You know, and it's hard to find people who, who you fit really well with, right? You know, because we all are very complex creatures, and right. we have good and bad traits. And um, I look for someone with patience, mm -hmm. who doesn't want to be my friend. Be, does, like being a friend with being good friends with them doesn't come at a cost, right? You know, and I find more. I've had a lot of friends that there's so many good parts, and. I've known them for so long and we've been friends for so long that we just, that continues, right? Cause we've just been such good friends for so long. We do everything together, but there's always times where, you know, I would, you know, I wouldn't feel supported or I would feel like something's coming at a cost or I would feel like I'm, I'm being myself and like doing my best, but I'm always like upsetting you. Right. And letting I'm, them I'm down. always letting right. you down. So then I'm right. always stressed about, all the things I'm doing wrong. Right. And, you know, and it's always like, I just can't give enough. And, but I stay in the relationship because I know deep down, I know their true intentions. Right. I know they're, you know, these things are happening, but I let those things go. Mm -hmm. And I think those are some relationships a lot of people probably have because we all have like, you know, traits that aren't the best. Sure. Um, but we well, all have yeah, really none of positive us. stuff too. Yeah. But as I get older, out of all the friends you have, or now you start to like, you meet a lot of people mm -hmm. and I'm, it's easier for me to almost gravitate towards those people that I need and that they also need me. And I'm skipping by, I'm skipping over the other types of relationships where it all comes at a cost. Right. And it's usually now because like, let's say for me, I am, Working in an industry where I would say a lot of people all have an angle. Yeah. You know, like whether it's like going to LA, we talked about it. You go to mm -hmm. like dinner in LA and it's like everyone in here, they, they think, think they're, they're the, the most, most important, important person, person in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that's how, that's the vibe. Mm -hmm. Everyone's Everything's like, like an, work angle. an angle. Yeah. You know, they're taking all their pictures they're doing all this. They're posting. It's like, they're looking to see who was around. Everyone's trying to like. They feel so important. It's like, well, everyone is important. Sure. But everyone is important, <laughs> right, right? Right. And so because I am sort of around that a lot, um, it's even more important to me. Sorry. Sorry. Gina is like cramping. <laughs> Her headphones popped out. It's more okay. important for me to like be around people that understand that. Right. And that they also, you know, they want true friendship. Right. That nothing comes at a cost. And I can say this right here. I have become 
very good friends with Daniel and Bailey, Mm -hmm. right? Like not overnight because we don't live in the same place, but like like the second time we hung out and got together, like both of us, we just knew like we're going to be very close. You've enjoyed her since day one. Yeah. And what did she say to you? Oh, remember, do you remember when she was talking to you about, um, like, yeah, she was just saying that she felt like you were like, had become one of her closest friends because it's very hard to know who your real friends are when you're in an industry where it's everyone, everyone wants a piece of you. Yeah. And you don't know why they want to be your friend. Yeah. Like, you know, like, do they want to just be on my Instagram story? Do they want, you know, I I mean, I don't know. I mean, I I don't have that kind of lifestyle, so you're not going to get that with me. So. I know I keep trying I know to you're trying your to Instagram use me story. for my for my followers <laughs> but like for me and her me going into the relationship friendship was me being so one I could tell and I think I just read people really well too but I could tell from the get-go like we get along super well right and we have a great time and we'll probably get together again we'll like do events together whatever and then and I don't I can't speak for her But I'm sure for her meeting so many people too, she is herself and super friendly, but she also maybe like me keeps a guard up a little bit just because it's like, you never know. And like essentially kind of what she was saying to me. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And so I've always been really careful with my friends that do have like status or a career. Like let's talk about Dana. She is extremely successful she has a giant following on social media she is a genuine real person and when we all get together not only is it like gold like you know like internet gold but I'm so particular about never wanting my friends to ever feel like I'm doing something with them because I want this for that right right and and for more vice, to gain and more vice success. Versa, and vice right. versa. So, right. and it's worked out very well for us. You know, we do things together because we enjoy each other's company and we can see the success that we can have doing projects together. But that was never how it started out. And I think that's also why she feels so good and strong about our friendship too because she needed something like that. Right. You know, and, um, and she got, she like, she wanted me because she wanted you. Hundred <laughs> percent. Well, I thought she was a doll. She's the best. Yeah, D. I don't she's know if you're listening addition. to this, but if you are, I she's love a good you, baby. <laughs> no, um, yeah. I mean, I don't have those same issues. Uh, people don't want you. People don't. People they don't, want, don't you want me. For, they want you for your body. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That happens to me all the time. Um, I mean, that guy just whistled at you before you came. Oh to my yeah, house. yeah. He was a hottie. Let me tell you. Do you know? Opens the door. Seen him. Do you know? Opens I the did. door to my house. She goes. I just got wooed. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> it was probably a teenager walking by, and I just didn't see her. You Woo. know what I mean? He was wooing at her. I was taking it like it was for me. So <laughs> no, that's what, that's what, what happened to Katie. <laughs> what? No, <it> was like <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god, poor Katie. Every that. time. Um. Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't have that, but like, I mean, I've definitely been in situations where, you know, like I like to pay for things. Right. Same. And so like, you'll notice, and, and like, there's like certain interactions with people where, um, if I, my dad was always like that, you know what I mean? I think your, your family's the yes. same way. So it's like, if we all go out to dinner, you know, I, I, sometimes if, if I know that I have maybe more money than you or and it's not even just that. It's just sometimes I just like to pay for people. No, I, hun- I, like I, to pay. I love right. taking care of them. Yeah. And it's yeah. easier. Like, you don't have to split the check. And it's right. like, yeah. I'm going to pay one. for it. I love that we're all hanging out together. I want to do it again. And right. I feel like at some point, I mean, you'll it's gonna probably- It's going to come back to me. It's going to come back to me. But I'll tell you what. So it never comes back. <laughs> well, that's not true. Not never. <laughs> no, no, no. But with certain with friends. With certain people, you'll see them. You know, and Daniel's, Daniel's really funny. He'll, and especially if I feel like had a couple drinks, I'm like uh-huh. loosened up. He'll be like- you're not paying for this. And I'm like, and then he'll make sure he'll like send like everybody Venmo Gina, like this much money. Or, you know, if I put, if I put it up or whatever, and then, um, because there are, there's just some people that just kind of sit there and go, okay, thanks. Well, that never used to happen. Remember it was me. I get so mad at you. Oh yeah. I mean, this is something you've, you've done for a long time (laughs) and I can't, I can't like get mad at you anymore because I am guilty of it too. Cause it doesn't ever feel couple of things. We're not the type of people 
to do something and then have to like, even if we're like, yeah, well, everyone will pay. Well, if no one's paid, I'm not going to like text and be like, hey, hey, you owe me this money. Can you send right. me this? Like, right. I'm just always like, well, I guess I made a mistake. Right. right. You know, I'll uh, I'll learn for next time. Right. You know. And so but Gina, like, for instance, we would we would barbecue every Sunday. Right. And we would meal prep. But me and Gina love cooking. Uh, she loves to entertain. Her old, her old house was like amazing for entertaining. Yeah. And we had this big group of people that would always get together. And she, we would go to the store and either she would have bought a ton or her and I would have paid for a ton. Right. And no one ever, <laughs> ever offered to like pay. But they you would, would have to tell, like you would have to tell them to bring something over. Yeah. So we started asking them to like yeah. bring something to share because well, so we didn't feel comfortable like, being like, hey, can you Venmo me for all the groceries <laughs> I bought we, for the past that we year? <laughs> I, know, I know. You know, and it's yeah. like, and, and you do it because we do it because we're not doing it for anything in return. But in, when no. you have when you have a healthy friendship, you never do it because you're expecting something in return. It just comes back because you all you all want to like, right. Like, it would be normal. You all want to help. Right. It would be normal to go to someone's house and to, you know, if they're making all the food to like offer to bring something and if they say no, oh, thank you so much. Or should I bring anything to drink? No, that's okay. And like, and then it's like, if you're done eating, like you should be asking that person, do you want help with the dishes? Mm -hmm. Or do you, you know, some people don't like doing the dishes cause they feel like people have to leave. And, but it's like, you should be asking, you should be doing that. I mean, and, that's just my opinion. Yeah. And then there's this, right? Like there are, people are different. There's different types of sure. people. There are definitely people that are just so unaware that they would like, they just need you to ask. I right? mean, that's true too. They, they just need you. Like, it wouldn't be weird. I would never ask. I know, neither would I. But, but see, it, that's but what I'm saying. So like, they would just, if you were just like, hey, will you do this? They'd be like, well, it, they could be like, oh yeah, sure. Or they'd be like, Oh yeah, I mean, okay. No, I gotta go. And you're like, actually, no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't want you to do it if you don't want to. Yeah, never mind. Like, I don't want to make you help me. <laughs> Hope that think, steak was okay, good. But, okay, wait. Something just came into my head. You know, it'll <laughs> go. It'll go away really fast. Yeah, I heard so you say, say it. it. But say no, it. I, so I think that this is important. So when you're trying to find a friend, right, yes. or you're or you're getting to know somebody, and like to me, that is important to feel like. Um, there's, there's give and take. Like mm -hmm. maybe you're somebody that just doesn't care and you're like, oh, I don't give a shit. I don't, I'll just do everything. And this mm -hmm. person can just sit on their ass. But if you do feel like, and I don't mean like every single time, it's not, again, I just want to know that we're kind of on the same page and, and just what kind of person are you? Yep. You know what I mean? And so I'm not saying it's like good or bad, but if, but if something's kind of important to me and it's, it's my values, it's, it would be kind of, it would be important for me to find a friend that kind of has similar values, mm -hmm. you know? And that's the problem is that when you're just meeting somebody and you're, you know, just going to dinner or you're doing this or doing that, you don't really know people's like values. Yep. And so even though you can be really different, you can get mad at each other, you know, you can, you know, forget to pay someone, whatever. It's like when you've built your friendship over time, having those same values, you know, you know that it's, it's, it's easier to, um, it can, to me, it would last longer mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And I think too, another really important thing for me is I think that a lot of, and I don't know if it's just women. I mean, I think it's more women. Um, if you, I think you need to really have, um, trust in that person and you got to really kind of see how they treat other people. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I mean, let's be honest. Like we both like joked and been catty about whatever, like, you know, ha ha yeah. and like, you know, total dumb, but like, okay. So like, for instance, this is what I was thinking about the other day. If somebody came to me, like you got to watch that, that person that's always telling everybody else what somebody said. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That drives me nuts. Mm -hmm. You know, when I see somebody doing that, I'm just like, huh, what's your motivation? Because if you're telling that person and that person's your friend and you're telling them that somebody else said something nasty about you, that's just going to make them feel shitty. Mm -hmm. So what's your, what, what is your, like, what, what's your, uh, I don't know. Why are you doing it? Yeah. You know? And so like, if somebody can, and I've, I've talked to Ruby about this. Cause like, this is like such a dumb girl, girl shit. Right. Someone's have said this about you and no, 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 no. It's like, why don't you just go to the person and not mad? Just ask them if it's true. Like, why would you assume? So like, if you're my really, you're my best friend mm -hmm. 
and say, you know, uh, so-and-so from the gym came up and said, well, Brooke was saying, you know, that you, your ass looks shitty or I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I did. I did, say, I did say that. <laughs> no, but like something like more meaningful. Yeah. And they said that to me, my initial reaction because of how close we are would be, no, she didn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, that would probably be my initial reaction. No, she didn't. And I might not even like mention it to you because I just know it's bullshit. You know, and I see kind of like what this person's yeah. doing, but that's, but that's what, that's the kind of friendships that you really yeah, need to be in. You don't want to have a friend who, and I have had these and they're shitty. <laughs> you don't want to have a friend that is like your good friend who will naturally assume the worst of you. <laughs> right. Right. You know what I mean? Right. If you genuinely know someone and care about them and you have a really good friendship, why would you jump to a conclusion and just assume the worst case? So like you said, like yeah. someone comes up to you and says, oh, like your best friend said this about you. Right. If you're like, oh my God. And then all of a sudden just start talking shit about your friend. <laughs> right. It's like, uh, you, if that's your best friend, you definitely should have a strong enough relationship that you would never make an assumption that that actually happened. And what you you know should do is be like, I don't believe that, but thank you. And then if you really wanted to know, you could be like, hey, yeah. would you like saying this about me? Yeah, exactly. And they'd be like, yeah. And you'd be like, ah, uh, fuck, okay. And then you laugh and high five. Right. I mean, that's what we would do. <laughs> right, we would. <laughs> Pretty much. No, I but, mean, yeah, but I was joking. Someone yeah. ever heard me joking about you? Yeah, you or know? if, or say like somebody's saying something about you that's, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Or somebody, somebody that I know that it's not true. I'd be like, uh, you know, like step in. Like that, that I, don't, I don't think that's true. Yeah. You know, diffuse it. I think that p some people just love drama so much that they just like the the build up. They do. You know, they love they, they, they love, have nothing better to and do. They love to feel important. Sure. You know, they love to feel like they know. Right. And they're important. Mm -hmm. And then like what happens is I think I mean, they, I, I've uh, like going through like the divorce and everything. I've dealt with stuff like this, not only in town and like at the gym, but like online too. Right. And like with like in the gym, you know, I've definitely had like heard things that people were saying. And to me, oh yeah, I thought a couple of things. It's like my, like my thought process was, I wasn't even mad at like the group of people that were talking amongst themselves. Cause I, and what I really hoped is like, I really hope that you feel better. Right. Really? Because yeah. I feel like what happens is everyone has their own shit. It's like if you, everyone threw their own problems into a circle, you'd always grab yours back. Right. Right. You've heard that. Right. It's like everyone has their own stuff. So when something else is happening in someone else's life, oh, and like someone who has a little bit of fame. Right. And you already may not like that person. A For little, no reason. You know, a little. It's like you might want to ignore your stuff. And talk about something else that can like bring a lot of attention to something else that like will maybe make you feel a little bit better. Right. And so like my natural reaction was like, I'm not even mad. I just hope that this, this is over soon. And, and I hope that this, I hope that it helps you. Right. You know, it's like, if you're going to do it. talking about me. Yeah. It's like, if this, is, if this is what you needed, one, right. I hope that it worked. And then I, I also hope that at some point you realize it wasn't the best way to deal with it. Right. Because it like hurts for someone else. Right. You know, and, um. And I understand it. It's like, I understand why people might talk about things. Like I read that email to you of like a, a girl who said, you know, people, you know, talking about how, <laughs> I should just read it. You should just read it. Okay, I'll read it. I won't say it's who it's from though. I received a DM. <laughs> slid into your DM. Someone slid into my DM. Um, yeah. Well, and I think again, like just, uh, having empathy for your friends. I, I've had to work on that. I've definitely had to work on that. Oh yeah. Because I'm not like the most well, an empathy is, sensitive empathy person. Empathy is very, is, can be very hard, it's, especially when, when you're know, so different from somebody. And if, when they have something that's very different and they deal with things differently, it's like my instant reaction would be like, oh my God, get over it. Cause well, I would get over it. Yeah. Well, like, I think we've, we've talked about this we before, have talked about it. but it's the idea of Everyone, whatever you're feeling, um, 
Like that's real. Right. And I don't, even though my opinion over like why you're feeling that because of that, right? Like that. Was right. Like I think it's silly. Yeah, yeah. It's so silly. Right. Like my opinion of like what, like what I think your level of being mad or sad or whatever should be, should be right. Regardless, like you're feeling something and you're, and, and that's real. Right. You know? And like in that moment, I can't say you shouldn't feel that or I can't say that's not as bad as this, right? Like you should be okay because this is way worse because if that's w- however it's affecting you, if that's the worst thing that's happened to you, then how that feels is ex- like totally um it's the same acceptable. As some, right. And it's right. and it will and it's uh what did I say last time? It's like the worst thing ever could be happening to me. And I could be talking to you. And like maybe a life situation you had was on paper way worse than mine. Right. Right. But if this is, if this is the worst I've ever felt. Right. That is, it is no different than, well, than how you felt. It's right. just as important. Right. And like, there's no reason to like, uh, like dumb it down or try to not, you just have to t- not take it personal, step out of the situation and feel for this person, like whatever they're going through, like they, they're going through it right. and that's okay. Yeah. You know? And, um, yeah, it's just, and it's different for different people because we're all going through different things. Right. It's like, you can't, you can't take my problems and like always, always do the, like, uh, I mean, it, it always is like, it could be worse, right? There are way, there's so many people in the world, other areas that are like suffering way more than how I'm suffering. Right. And, and I get that. And it is very different. But if I am suffering still, and this is the worst I've felt, even though it doesn't look as bad as like some other situation. Right. Like I broke a nail. It's still the worst <laughs> no, thing. <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> it's still the worst thing that I'm feeling. It's the worst day ever. So it's like, if, right. if this is, yeah. if this is my rock bottom, even though for someone else, their rock bottom is like worse on paper, way yeah. worse. I'm still suffering. Right. And so you just need to, yeah. So that's, that's something that I, that I've been trying to work on as, and I think that's, that's another thing is like, if you expect to have good friends, you need to be a good friend, Yeah. you know, and you have to figure out what that means for you, Mm -hmm. you know, because you can't just be like, oh, this person's shitty and this person's shitty and this person, and, and, but you're really shitty. Yeah. Okay. Read your thing. Okay. (sighs) Hey Brooke, I know we've never met, but, oh, and also if you're listening to this, um, I'm not going to say who wrote this, but I really appreciate you giving me a chance and listening to my podcast and in a way getting to know me without deciding what you think I might be like just because you look at my social media. I know we've never met, but recently there was a Reddit thread in, um, about your divorce. Yeah, you guys, please don't go and read my Reddit thread. I'm sure it's very riveting. <laughs> I don't think anybody should read People it. People were being real jerks as usual. They mentioned that you were adver- advertising your podcast, in quotations, by refusing to answer questions in social media and attention whoring. I know a lot of people feel that way about you. To be honest, I used to be one of those people. However, that episode was the first time I'd ever listened to the podcast because recently I had a celebrity CrossFitter friend go through a similar life change and face public scrutiny that crushed me to see that happen to them. That podcast was amazing. It really changed the false perception that I had of you previously from social media and YouTube exposure only. I'm really glad I listened to that podcast. You girls said some wonderful, uh, sorry, some wonderful things about hard life changes and managing them in the spotlight. I've since been listening to more episodes of the podcast and I love you guys. I'm sorry I ever judged you. You're so much more dynamic and intelligent than you get public credit for. And the podcast is funny and insightful for a fellow young woman in the CrossFit fitness community. I love hearing your thoughts as well, Gina, as well as Gina's thoughts on life through differences, state, different stages and age perspectives. You know, <laughs> there's a picture of me. <laughs> but it's like, um, it's that. I it's, love that. It's when you're like, well, when we're going to talk about like social media, mm-hmm. it can be really, and I think I've, I've lived this too, like being younger, it can be really easy. I feel like maybe more as like a girl than a guy. Yeah, but I think to, guys do it too, but I think you're, I mean, we can only like, speak from our perspectives, but to choose <laughs> to not like someone or something just because you don't understand it, or you might have a very false perception of them because you haven't got to know them because you don't know them. You're just, you're creating a story in your own head, right. you know, and, and it's kind of unfair. And in, in regards to like social media, 
or like being someone who has fans, um, people start to fall in love with you for you. And then the more they get to know you, and especially because we talked about how like Instagram is like not real, right? It's like, it's they're, not it's like real. they're watching right. their favorite character on a show. Yeah, They want to try and mold you to make you exactly what they want. What they've like decided in their so head. So when they started just liking you, now they want to, they'll start picking you apart for all the areas of who you are that they would want to be like for like the perfect person for them. They'd want to be a little bit different. But people forget that it's like, you're just, a, you're just a person and you can't like be yourself and also be like a certain type of yourself for every other person that likes you. Like that's right. not, I mean, and people that do that don't, they can't keep it up for very long. You know, and you're not, and then you lose, and then you lose yourself. Right. You know, and that's why I say like, I'm not everyone's flavor. You're like, mine. I know. <laughs> but it's like, I'm not everyone's flavor and that's yeah. okay. You know, it doesn't mean that, um, it doesn't mean they wouldn't maybe like me if they tried me. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, dumb. sometimes <laughs> partisan flavors. <laughs> funny but yeah you know uh, and so I really appreciated that message because I do feel like I'm a very likable person when you actually get to know me because I'm not a piece of shit like I don't want <laughs> no, you're to you mean but it's like, like I'm like, not a piece of shit guys <laughs> I'm not but do you know what I mean it's like my goal <laughs> isn't to make anyone feel less than me Right. Ever. Like I would rather, I've been this type of person my whole life. I would rather mm -hmm. give success away to my friends than to have them ever feel like I had more than them. Right. Or I was, you know, it's more fun for me to like, you know, go alone. You'll, you know, you, what are they, is that saying? If you go with, go with like people, you'll You're go asking far. asking me what a saying is? I don't know. <laughs> like I'm going to remember I'm just it. saying it's way more fun to enjoy yeah. success and, and life and experiences with people. Right. And it's not as fun by yourself. Right. You know, I would much rather give away success and opportunity to people that I care about so we can experience it together. And a lot of that comes from, uh, in the past, almost like being insecure about being successful because I was so worried about anyone ever feeling less than me. Right. But I can see how if I'm doing things um, that are pretty cool mm -hmm. and you only your only outlet to me is through social media and in a community like CrossFit where we all like, everyone feels more like they, like you know people more on a personal level you might have your idea of like that, you know me. And then instead of looking at what I'm doing and realize like, I'm just a normal person. I'm not, you know, I'm more, right. I'm more than whatever you, like the image of me, well, you're you've more created in just, your head. Yeah. I'm more than my, a piece of me, Gina. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? It's like, I, I do. I, well, I, I challenge all of you. If you don't already do it, you probably do. Cause you listen to us. We see you're really cool. Um, <laughs> When you see someone or something that you may not, may not agree with. Right. Or it might, your first reaction might be to judge them. Mm -hmm. Even if like, it's like really worth judging. Just. I mean, we've all done it. Yeah. Right. Instead, it might just be something that you don't understand. And instead of coming up with an idea in your head or like creating a story that's probably pretty negative. Right. Like make one that's positive. I love that message. You know I mean? Yeah. Cause like we do, like you see people like yeah. me and you do it all the time. We'll like see people and like, we'll create a story of like, what do we think they're talking about? Right. You know, and right. like, where are they from? Right. Where are they going? <laughs> you know, everyone, everyone's different. And instead of always creating a negative connotation about where someone might be from or what they're thinking or what they're doing, maybe really have more empathy for strangers, except that you don't under, you may not understand them, but but or you like, may not be doing what yeah. they're doing. But like, I think send, that's the problem. Send the vibe and the energy that like you just hope that wherever they're going, what they're doing is like that they're happy, right? You know, and that they do well, and that they're continuing that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and the more you do that, the more you're going to attract those friends you want, right? You're going to attract people that do the same thing. 
that just want, you know, they just want to be successful. They want to, they want to love themselves. They want to love the people around them. They want to experience life with good people. And they also want to continue to share that message. And instead of, you know, having a like, you know, the resting bitch face all the time or like right. seeing something and being like, oh, maybe it's more like you're just have you know, you think more positive about them and you accept that you don't understand, you may not understand where they're from or where they're going. But if I can smile at you and I can say hi to you and I can leave you feeling good, I, you know, you change, people change people's lives doing that and you right. wouldn't even know it. No, I a hundred percent agree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've surrounded myself with negative people before and it, and it's true. It's like, if I'm around people who are just constantly like gossiping or, you know, this or that, or, you know, not really supportive of like other females or other mm -hmm. friends, always trying to find something wrong with somebody. I find myself falling into that. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? And it's been for me as I've gotten older I was never like, a, I was never a mean girl, but I was always like friends with somebody that was mean. Oh, same. And then I was, I was always the kind of person that was like too quiet to like really like, like, uh, speak up, you know? And then sometimes I would get like, uh, talked into doing mean things too, mm -hmm. you know, like I was that, you know? And, uh, oh my God, I remember in particular, and this is so dumb, but I remember it so well because I was so embarrassed. There was like, you know how it's like, there was always like three friends, like three girls. Mm -hmm. And we were at the roller rink and only two of us could go and the other one couldn't go. And this other friend of mine was like, let's call her and tell her that we're glad she didn't come. <laughs> that was like, and I, you know me, I was like, um, I, uh, I don't think we should do that. You know? And then she was like, no, come on, we're going to do it. And I was like, okay. And then I sat there and then she like got on the phone. She's like, yeah, we're Gina's here and we're glad you didn't come. And, I, and, and then she's like, tell her Gina. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> and I, up, I felt terrible. Oh yeah. But, but, and then like the mom called my mom and my mom was so disappointed in me and like, but stuff like that. But it's like, you do, you get in these. And of course that's like when you're much younger. I mean, I was like in elementary school or sixth grade or something. Um, but you do still kind of see these things happening as you, as you become older with these, some of these women, that are so toxic that that's all they and do. The, and they're still doing it. And they're still, they're doing, still it. doing it. And you it. know what's crazy? Their behavior, their kids are like mirroring their behavior. So then you have like a whole other generation of little shits, mm -hmm. you know? It's like you got the shitty, you know, shitty grandma taught the shitty mom, <laughs> the shitty mom with a shitty kid or yeah. I don't know, whatever. So it's like, you know, you it's, it is important, like, you know, I don't know, trying to come full circle for me now, when looking for a friend, I really do try to see how they treat other people, you know, uh, try to get them to know them a little bit longer, spend mm -hmm. more time before I jump all the way in, you know? Um, and, and honestly, I just, I mean, somebody has a really freaking dark sense of humor and that's why I love you. I do. <laughs> well, for other reasons, but you know, like somebody that understands me because I can be friends with other people. And like I said, like learn to be more empathetic and understand that, you know, maybe the things that, 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 uh, that I say to somebody else, like I'd be okay if they said it to me, you know, but I, but the, they might, but the, may not, they may they not, might be, not okay. be okay with it. And that's okay. Like I can change for that. But the people that I'm going to be really close to know me so well that, you know, that we definitely are on the same level with, you know, a lot of the important things, mm -hmm. you know, humor, you know, patience, and, I, and I think all, another, you know, all that another good quality, like to be a good friend is you need to be willing to accept and admit when you're wrong. Yes. And it doesn't, it's not a winning or losing thing and it shouldn't feel like that. So you both should be friends that it's not a winning or losing thing. It's accepting that something that you were, that, you know, you were wrong or that, um, it's the things could have, the conversation should have been a little bit different, but you're doing it because you are understanding each other better and you want to be able to understand each other better right. and be, and be able to communicate better. And it's, it's because you want to grow right together. It's yeah. like in versus like being stuck in your ways and wanting everyone to like around you change for you. Uh Oh, Oh, sorry guys. We only have 15, oh. 15 minutes. Okay. We got to wrap it up. Anyways, <laughs> just be willing to like 
Well, one, hopefully you just want to continue to grow as a person and, and always be better. Right. And if you're willing to look at your own actions and accept when they weren't the best, it's not a bad thing. Like I'm, I've gotten really good at this. Like it's not a bad thing. Like don't look at yourself and be like, oh, I'm, I'm a bad person or a bad <laughs> I'm friend. I'm a piece of shit. It's, it's that that was natural for you or, or you made a mistake or um, you were emotionally charged and you, you made a decision. But if you can, if you are willing to look at your actions and look at the words you said to your friend or like, look at that and critique it in a way because you want to be better and you don't want to replicate the same um, actions, you know, that's a great quality in a friend. Even if you did something that really hurt that person's feelings. Right. If you're willing to look at it and be like, oh, wow, I really shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. You know, you're growing together. Right. You know, and you'll be, you, uh, you'll be stronger friends. Like me and you. We've, yeah. We've gotten some fights. <laughs> I mean, like a couple. <laughs> I know. I'm like, it's not that many. <laughs> not that many. <laughs> but we've definitely like, yeah, like we've gotten like in some, yeah, some fights, but then we've and also like had like, misunderstanding yeah, or, or just like grumpiness or like whatever. Like, yeah. you know, when you're around somebody all the time, you can get on each other's nerves a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But we love each other. I do. I love just you. like move on, you know? Yep. <laughs> all right guys well Take a break we are limited on our sd card yeah we are but you've also been listening to us for you know 45 minutes yeah, that's a long time um hopefully you're enjoying work or uh lounging your car ride. or your car ride or cooking yeah i love that somebody wrote in and said um she plays the episode of our pube pub towel. towel for friends like or she puts them in the car like so that they're like a stuck audience and then she'll decide if she wants to be friends with them or not, if they're, if they're, if they're like compatible. compatible friends. Yeah. <laughs> Playing it. It was awesome. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Thanks, anyway. for, thanks for listening. Um, hopefully you were either entertained or you learned something or yeah. you, you know, you, we, what's the word? I don't know. We uh, understand each other. Yeah. Like you understand us. Hopefully. And we're on the same, on a little bit on the same page. We all want to be better friends and yeah, just be a better person. Yeah. Remember, Go out. Oh, I thought you were going to be rate reviews. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. Rrr. Remember to, you know, the challenge that we gave you, which is try and put more positive spins on on people that you see, including friends and, and strangers. And remember to not take things so personal and accept that whatever they might be going through or their day, it has nothing to do with you. That should be your first assumption. And you should want it to get better for them. You know, and never want to like keep fighting or like, be so negative or right. assume the worst. Just don't keep don't your, assume the worst assume about your friends. Worst. No. Yeah. Don't be judgmental. Yeah. So now, guys, remember to. Oh, now we're going. Yeah, we can do it. Rate, Rate review, subscribe, subscribe five-star five rating, five-star warning. warning. And we will talk to and you. And we'll talk to you guys soon. When I'm back from Mexico. Yay.